Uh, good morning. Street camped in Dog Patch, which is a neighborhood near downtown San Francisco, and took the bike off last night. Didn't film it just because I just wanted to go around downtown, enjoy kind of San Francisco. I ended up going to Castro with uh, Miche and like having some drinks and all that kind of stuff. It was fun. But feeling a little tired this morning. I'm here hanging out with uh, JP. He's actually a, another local of the Bay Area. Has a wicked cool four wheel drive Chinook. Very jealous, that four wheel drive. So what's it like uh, dwelling, villing, living in a vehicle with a dog, but like you're working? It's great, I, assume, yeah, I yeah. love it. Love it. Is he coming to the studio with you at work? Yeah, he's with me 24-7. Oh, okay, so that's yeah. not so bad. Yeah. It's nice to have a job like that, that you can do that. Yeah. So yeah, this is Heron's head. We're taking our dogs for a little walk, and maybe he might even show me a Chinook. Maybe. Not gonna promise anything. But, uh... Ah, beautiful San Francisco. I hate to say it, but that Pomeranian swims better than Champ does. This is amazing. Champ, he swims better than you, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna stink, buddy. <laughs> I gotta go pick my garbage up off my floor because it tipped over. <laughs> That's a that's a classic van life problem right there. Yeah. I love the rear entry though. I love having the full size door. I would like to have side entry. Really? To be honest, yeah. But you would have to sacrifice so much on the size of the door. It would be so much smaller. True. Yeah. Come on. So I love it because it's like it's a boxier rig, which you sacrifice a little bit on efficiency, but you get so much space side to side. It's so rad. Yeah. These things are just so like open side to side. It feels almost like you're in a small sailboat. Yeah. Like it's it got does. that that like <coughs> central vibe to like, it. It's like a living room. You know? Yeah, it's That's a bit what like, I a, don't, like I a real sort of like mine's so small. cramped compared to this. It's crazy. And this one's four season insulated and like four, four wheel drive with limited. good ground clearance. Yeah, that's where it's at, man. Yeah. These Chinooks are amazing. It was really rad hanging out with JP, uh, seeing a Chinook and stuff and San Francisco has so many local van dwellers and like mobile livers. It's really rad to like talk to them and hear their experiences and like seeing how they make it work. It's also kind of like the opposite end of the spectrum of what I'm doing because I love to move so much and I love to see so much when I go and my my job allows me to kind of do that and I was very lucky doing that. But uh, it's just cool to see the other spectrum of kind of campers and way, the way they do it. I'm going sailing today. I'm really stoked on it. Uh, somebody hit me up on Snapchat and was like, hey, I'm you know going sailing today. I'm in the Bay Area. You want to go sailing? I'm like, we'll never turn down a chance to go sailing. I always love going sailing. Need to learn a lot more. So pumped. Let's go do this. Just stopping up for a little bit of breakfast before I head out sailing. So pumped 
this is what I mean like the, the connections you get through your YouTube that's the real it's the real awesome bit I really like to do like come meet me on some BLM land if you've got a camper or if you've got a tent or whatever and we can all just go sit around the campfire and camp together that'd be cool maybe let me know what you think Thank you. So I'm with Lexi here and she's showing me getting in on the boat that she's gonna buy and, and, and tour around in. So this is kind of like her first time taking out. So it's really, really cool to see more of like what those first few steps really look like. She's got a long history of being you know, around boats and grew up sailing with her family and stuff, but she's never captained or soloed her own boat. So this is really big for her. <sighs> I'm nervous for her. Big boat, Lexi. <laughs> Appropriate amount of wear yeah. on that wood. So this, I mean the cockpit's huge. It's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty really huge. big cockpit. So that slides. And then that. you got the boards yeah, in there, yeah. It's pretty good. It's really far up though, that's cool. Mm-hmm, yeah. The engine looking. It looks fine. It's not. It's not like it's smoking or anything. That? Really strong. I have no wind and, right. and uh, a motor that's acting funny because of maybe debris in the water cooling system. Sailing is an adventure, even if you're just in the estuary. to flag someone down in the bay here just to help us toast. We're really close to like the same harbor area that we took off from so we're just getting them to tow us with a rope back to back to safety so we can not push the engine and fix whatever's wrong with it so we don't have to you know do any damage. Should I try to get another line on this side? Why don't you uh you got this? I got this. Yeah. Are you feeling all stressed out because the very stressed. Yeah. Very stressed but you know it's part of the it's part of the fun it's part of the fun or you something you only have one life to live you gotta seize the moment the yolo 420 plays <laughs> it yeah okay gotcha <laughs> made it back to shore got towed in now we're gonna might as well fix this engine i guess let's go figure out what's wrong with it i don't know why i'm enjoying this so much I just, ah, sailing All right, looks like we have a partial clear out of the situation down there. It looked like there were some barnacles or shells or something. We will see what kind of water flow we get. Looks like we're moving again and uh, it'll take a while for us to see if the water flow is actually making a difference or if it's still broken because, you know, the engine's still got to heat up. We just kind of fired it up and we're going. So we'll see. We don't have far to go, so we'll probably make it. So, the, but we did find finally find the problem. The belt's not moving. Like, see down here? Yeah. yeah, like, I don't know if you can see, but the belt's not, like, actually going around. Like, it's just in one place, one place vibrating. Oh, so the belt is either worn out or loose. Can you tighten those things? I think you just need a new belt. Ah, well, we're just going to get a new belt, and we'll run the hell out of that diesel engine. Nice and cool. Try a little hairspray, try a little soap in there. It doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Okay, just gonna be good. I wanna stay where it's nice and warm. Ooh. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. 
Okay, so all that happened there, see how the middle is rotating and the black rubber part is not? So what happened was this slipped off of the... Oh, that's interesting. So actually, it looks like what happened was the metal thing worked its way out. So that, so two things happened that were bad, but the impeller needs to be replaced again. All right, we got it. That is our problem. We found it. It wasn't something, well, hopefully it wasn't something. That little piece, that's yeah. like, <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. That that much can go this wrong. This is something that, that happens little. like on every single motor that you yeah. have on every sailboat. All right, so this is the water pump right here. And then this is the sleeve that fits over the impeller, which is uh, a shaft. And uh, this is the bolt that screws in to hold it all together and holds the impeller. And this came loose and then got bent and broke the impeller and thus not spinning our little water pump and overheating our engine. How do you I feel about that? I'm glad we know what's wrong now. <laughs> Alright, let's get a drink. You worked real hard. <laughs> you earned I this. I did it all by myself. Over here, right in front of the. It was like the worst, but the only point. Where they went, what are you looking This is our lead mechanic. He did a really great <laughs> job. The engine's running again. Okay. So, yeah, the impeller and the bits pieces, we got them all back in there. Um, we used the same belt, even though it's partly shredded, but we just couldn't get one to replace it. So, that'll be something that needs to be replaced shortly. Yeah. New parts arriving in the morning. But for now, it is spinning the water pump, and that's all we need. So, engine's nice and cool. So our lead mechanic's name is Kaibo. <laughs> He's a skilled veteran of the seas, apparently. <laughs> He's also Laser's dog. And he's going to live on the boat with her. So yeah, we're gonna, she's gonna be kind of like uh, testing out the waters to see how living on a boat with a big dog is. And uh, we'll have to keep tuned. And maybe you'll be giving me tips by the time I get my boat <laughs> yeah. for sure. Life. This guy's got so much energy. Let's, yeah, now that we got wind, let's put up some sails and try to... Thank you for all your service. <laughs> How's it feel? Feels good. Feels like gotta I'm... say the wheel's at the right spot for you. Yeah, Little good. wheel for the people. Good. <laughs> and that's it, that's sailing with uh, Lexi and her, and her rig and she hasn't signed the paperwork over yet. It's not a fully her boat. Soon. Soon. There's some stress, there's some anxiety there. There's some courses coming up soon. I think I might, uh, talking to the guys here, I might actually sign up and do a course when I get back here to San Francisco in a month, which will be about when this uh, video posts. Oh yeah, by the way, if you have some sites I need to see in San Francisco that I haven't yet, please write them in the comments. So Lizzie's here joining me for a little bit of dinner. She's been in the Bay Area for how long now? Three weeks. Okay, so you've been here for three weeks and you've been eating nothing but fast food. You've been getting a hotel room every once in a while to get a shower in. You're, take, you're, take, you're taking a, a rough turn at the van life pretty quick. I don't so, have all the amenities. That's true, yeah. So, but the plan is to move into a boat. And the plan is maybe to move into the boat that we saw today. Yes. Huh? How, like I said, how do you feel about that boat? Do you feel any differently about it since you saw it and we're actually out on it? Um, I feel kind of nervous about the engine because the engine failed. Um, yeah. But I think it's an easy fix. Well, but what, it would just be intimidating. Yeah. yeah, that's true. It'd be intimidating for me to have to know what to do in that instance. That's so I have true. a lot of Very, learning to there's do. There's a lot of... Mm. And that's a whole different, like, ballpark than everything. The sailing, yeah. you're learning and sailing. It's, it's yeah. like... The carpentry, the mechanics, and then the, the sailing, sailing are all three very, very Separate different parts. expertise. Yeah. You need to somehow figure out how to balance them all. So. I wish you luck. Yeah, <laughs> I need it. Well, yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of uh, a time off from the fast food spiel with, and make a little home cooked meal here because apparently you're in desperate need of that. So we're gonna do pierogies, Brussels sprouts, and onions, and maybe a little bit of sauce and just do it up. All of it boiled, all of it then fried. Super easy. Just Sounds keep the oil hot, the vet and the fried stuff dry drop it in, come out golden, crispy, and sweet and delicious. A little bit of salt. That's it.
Ah, mm, ah, mm. 너무 커져버린 순수한 마음 ah, mm. 